the schools that we attend and like the people around us, like going to a predominantly white school where you have predominantly white teachers, it also plays a part in it because it's like you're in a different class than them and like they always had the chance and opportunity to have a higher education and we've had less than them. So like now that you want to get your education, it's like why do you want to have an education? I joined Girls for Gender Equity because I feel like I lack a voice in my community, not only because I'm a woman, but also because I'm black. And I felt like I lacked a lot of opportunities and I didn't have a lot of education as to who I am and my history and my background. So I joined so that way I can gain knowledge and pass it on to my younger sister. I was recently suspended from school because I decided to speak back to my dean because I felt like a situation I was going through wasn't right. I felt like I was being disrespected by multiple teachers on multiple occasions. And I decided to voice my opinion about it and how I felt. And I was told that it was talking back and it wasn't necessary. Like I felt like my voice was almost being pushed aside and like I just had to follow their rules. And I didn't like it, so therefore I spoke about it, and that caused me to have a suspension for a whole week from school. For me, it wasn't, um, you know, I'm I'm like not covering up a lot. It's because I'm covering up too much, you know. Like sometimes I get like these looks. It's like, oh, you know, this girl, she's all covered up. They don't exactly outright say it, but it's there. I see the looks. I've seen it for myself, you know, and I've seen it for my other, you know, covered friends as well. So it's like what you said, Brittany. You know how like you know we have to um, fit into this white, you know, feminine like way of dressing and everything like that. So it kind of takes away our right to express ourselves the way we want to. My name is Dana Abdimula. I'm a sister and strength youth organizer at Girls for Gender Equity. I've been suspended four times, and currently the school I am in, I've been suspended three times. And since the first time I've been suspended, my grades has dropped. And I was near honors before, and now I'm like, failing so it's just since those weeks that I'm suspended I just get behind so last time I got suspended it was for breaking my teacher sharpener and in my school we have a mediations where we can have one-on-one -on -one conversations to fix a conflict and he did not request one with me he just automatically suspended me and then I hate when I get suspended because I get put back and it's usually always for a week or more, so I get behind in school and I don't know. When I get back into school, I never know what's going on because the work they give me is not, it's very vague, so it's just like, I'm lost. This one teacher, she told me that I walk around like I'm better than everyone and like I don't care about anything. And I was just like, you don't know me. Would she have said that if I wasn't a woman of color? That just ties into the stereotypes that people have of women of color. I think with being a black girl, is an automatic assumption that you're gonna be louder in the classroom and you're gonna be the problem child. And teachers find, as soon as you walk into a classroom, teachers get a certain idea of who you are, not just based on your character, but just how you look and how you present yourself. And then from that, they, see, they say like, oh, I should make sure I set an example out of this girl to make sure everybody else behaves accordingly. In my school, right, we have to go through metal detectors to come to high school. And I had my hair wrapped and I went through the machine and like it went off because the metal and the hairpins. And it was like, oh, we gotta take it off. But I was like, why I take my hairpins out? I don't wear my hair, like, what's the point? And she said how I couldn't go in because it was disturbed by the metal detectors. And I refused to take it out. And then they called my house and I got in trouble. How are my head pins harming anybody around me? Like, it didn't make sense to me, but it happened. I'm in school to learn, not to be disrespected. Like, I feel like there should be respect, but I feel like I shouldn't be disrespected. Or I shouldn't feel uncomfortable within the school. So it causes me to lack learning because I'm focused on what my teacher said to me, not what's going on in class. I'm focused on how my teacher makes me feel, not the positive energy around me. It causes me to really shut down and not want to be there. It makes me feel misunderstood. And I'm very cautious now of what I do in school because 
I know if I say something, then it will be taken to the extreme. Or if I just act the way I usually do, just be free and careless and just happy, then it would just something I will do, even though it can be an accident, it will be taken to extreme too. Society has these stereotypes and it's like gonna be hard to make the stereotypes go away. I think that if the people that are being affected by it care enough and like really wanna like see it change and push for it, I feel like it'll it could be done. I'm hoping that the voices of me and my other sisters in strength inspires other females and other genders and races to speak out against harsh discipline because I feel like our stories can actually move a different movement within schools. It can actually change voices. It just takes one person to stand up and say something.